Today we're riding on the Bernina Express. This is a beautiful train through the Italian and Swiss Alps. It was built between 1908 and 1910. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I'm super excited. This is supposed to be one of the most beautiful train rides in the world. The train starts in Toronto, which is where we are now. It goes all the way up to Chur, uh, but we're actually gonna stop halfway along the route in St. Moritz. There is a full uh, Bernina Express train, uh, but this time of year, it only leaves once per day in each direction. But they also have the Bernina Express cars, which are the exact same cars, just on normal trains. And so that's what we're in today. We paid an extra five Swiss francs and we're able to sit here uh, and have these huge windows to look out of. Made it to Switzerland. That was a pretty short journey in Italy. have already been climbing and we're going to climb quite a bit. So we started in Toronto, Italy, and we were at, I think, 429 meters. And we're going to go up to the Bernina Pass, which I think is 2,200 and, oh, I forgot the Indian, <laughs> about 2,200 meters. Fact number one, there are 196 bridges along the Bernina Express route. One of the 55 tunnels of the Bernini Express. We're only going through 13 on our route. We're stopping. Our highest stop is over 2,200 meters. 2,253, I think. Okay, a few years ago, we did the route of the Glacier Express and we were cheap and decided not to pay for the panoramic uh, windows where you can see out a little better. So today we did, it was about five Swiss francs, so uh, I think six American dollars a person, which is maybe worth it, but you can't open your windows and it looks like the cheaper seats you can, which is actually pretty cool. So the cheaper seats might be just as good. <laughs>
we are disembarking because we've made it to the beautiful ski town of St. Moritz. <laughs> So Switzerland's always expensive, but St. Moritz, it's a little fancy. <laughs> Time for a little kiss. So, lunch prices. We split, I think it was like 19 ish dollars, and then this cake is seven. Okay, same Ritz has been beautiful. It's very cold and windy. We've been walking around and exploring. So St. Moritz is pretty small. I think it's about 5,000 people live here. So it's mostly a resort town. In the winter, which we're kind of in the winter, but in the winter, they raise horses because this is all iced over. Don't think that would work now in early December, but cool fact. Um, they've hosted the Olympics here twice. I think it was in 1928 and 1948. They have a lot of skiing and snowboarding. We went by because we wanted to do it tomorrow, but um, we were told that it is artificial snow that is hard packed and quite aggressive. I think we're a little too early in the season, so a little disappointed, but it's a beautiful place and we're happy to check it out. And it was nice to ride the train up here. And it's very pretty. We're gonna stay in St. Moritz for another hour or so to hopefully see some Christmas lights. And we are gonna take the train back to Italy. We have no idea where we're sleeping tonight though. So we'll see how things go. My dad think we are nuts. You are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I think, the latest we've been without a place to sleep. I think. I don't know. We had a night in Athens that was similar, but that was a city. So I think they stayed open a little bit later. For no checking in. That they don't have a place except that they can't make a decision. <laughs> we like to be flexible. We thought we might snowboard here. We talked to the guy in the shop and he said the snow was quite hard and we don't want to do that. So there's no point in paying to stay here tonight because Switzerland is much more expensive than Italy. And let's face it, the food's not as good. So we're going to hopefully get to ski or snowboard tomorrow in Livigno. And if we don't, well, it'll be okay. The Christmas season has begun in Switzerland. <laughs> this is just like a cute Christmas tree. I don't know if it's a hotel or a house, but yeah, it's cute. There's this really beautiful hotel that I feel like kind of just dominates St. Marit. Bad Roots Palace, hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Um, it's right here. I think it was built in 1896. This palace is just beautiful overlooking the lake. It's also a five-star hotel and costs over $1,500 a night. So we won't be staying there, but it is pretty to look at. The buildings are just so beautiful here with, I guess, paintings, I don't know, on the side. It's really cute. I'm pretty sure we are the only people who are gonna be on this train. We have not seen anyone. We're a little bit early but I think this is off season in St. Moritz. <laughs> ah, so I should have looked closer at the schedule. 
Luckily, we are going to make it back to Toronto, but turns out the train doesn't go all the way this time of night. So we have to get off and transfer to a bus. We have two minutes to go to the bus. <laughs> I don't know, I don't like our chances. But we don't have a new place booked yet. Maybe we should wait in case we don't make it. Oh, good point. Um, also, the Bernina Express earlier, it was just much nicer. This looks like we're in the 70s, which is like normal for trains, but typically Swiss trains are really like posh. We're sitting in the like locomotive car that's actually pushing or pulling the train. So, and I somehow opened older. it up and I think scared the engineer a little bit. Again. <laughs> yeah, you can probably hear us talking, he's laughing us out. So, yeah, so yeah, uh, we may end up being the only people on this train, and it's making a really annoying noise. That too, <laughs> the train ride back was quite different than the train ride up. <laughs> so part of it, I mean, it was pitch black, so we couldn't see anything. Um, we were also in this like tiny little car, and it started with just us. We did pick up some people along the way. Uh, and then we yeah. were frantically searching for a place to stay tonight. Yes, so this is, I, we may be the latest we've ever been to find a place, and certainly the latest in an area like this. So the last time we were doing this, it was Athens, and there were a lot of hotels. It was no problem to find. I don't know if I'd say a lot. There were some. But um, tonight we kept getting denied from Airbnb hosts because they didn't have the heat on yet. And they said they could not heat up the place fast enough. So that was a new experience. We certainly have not been in cold climates enough to <laughs> have run into that one before. But we did find an Airbnb host that has a unit in their house. So it was already warm enough. I guess. <laughs> so we have a place to stay. We made our short connection. It turns out it wasn't that bad because everyone on the train got on the same bus. So I think this was used. Th so this morning was like tourists looking out at the Alps. This looked like local people who are just using the train and everything as public transportation. So we made it back. We split up for my parents. They texted me. They made it to their hotel and even got to see a Christmas market. So that's cool. Um, so we're gonna go grab some pizza and then check into our Airbnb. It's certainly been an eventful day. Celebrating being back in Italy with some great pizza.